Welcome, seekers of the arcane and the mysterious, to mystical myths. Today, we embark on a journey into the depths of legend, chasing whispers of a city veiled in gold and mystery El Dorado, the Golden One. In the annals of mythology, few tales hold the allure and enigma of El Dorado. It is a story woven with threads of adventure and obsession, where the boundary between reality and myth blurs like the mist over undiscovered lands. Almost every year has been graced by the legend of El Dorado, a city of incomprehensible wealth said to be hidden within the heart of South America's impenetrable jungles. Among those who dared to seek its splendor was Juan Martinez, a captain of munitions serving under the intrepid Diego de Ordaz. His account, shrouded in the ethereal veil of the mystical, speaks of a journey unlike any other. Blindfolded and guided by the hands of the local tribes, Martinez was carried downstream for what seemed an eternity 15 days of whispered secrets and ancient rites. At the culmination of this enigmatic voyage, Martinez's eyes beheld a sight that defied reason, a city of colossal proportions, rising like a mirage from the emerald embrace of the jungle. Its walls whispered of forgotten glories, and its streets echoed with the footsteps of a civilization lost to time. Join us as we delve into the realms of myth and legend, where the quest for El Dorado continues to beckon the brave and the curious alike. Let us unravel the veils of centuries past and peer into the heart of a mystery that has captivated the souls of adventurers for generations. As the sun sets on the tales of El Dorado, we find ourselves standing at the crossroads of history and myth. While the legend of the Golden One may have originated from the gilded rituals of the Muisca people, its allure has transcended time and reason. It is now widely acknowledged that the myth of El Dorado sprang forth from the sacred customs of the Muisca, where a tribal chief, known as the Zipa, would adorn himself in a mantle of shimmering gold dust before plunging into the depths of Lake Guadavita. This ritual, a symphony of mysticism and reverence for the Earth's treasures, painted the canvas of legend with hues of gold and secrets. Yet, even with this understanding, the relentless quest for El Dorado persists. And perhaps, in the depths of our collective yearning, there lies a truth waiting to be unearthed. In the year 1977, two daring souls, Gamaras Cruz and Roland Stevenson, stumbled upon a revelation that stirred the echoes of forgotten whispers. Their discovery led them to the remnants of an ancient lake, its waters long vanished, nestled within the heart of northern Brazil. This lake, it is believed, began its solemn retreat seven centuries past, a testament to the relentless march of tectonic forces. Could this be the fabled Lake Parim, the storied waters along which El Dorado is said to have flourished? The shadows of myth and reality intertwine, casting a veil of uncertainty upon our understanding. Yet, in this ambiguity, there is a spark of possibility, a beacon for those who dare to dream. The quest for El Dorado, with its labyrinthine paths and elusive promises, continues to draw forth the intrepid and the seekers of truth. Join us as we venture deeper into the heart of this enigma, where the boundaries between myth and reality blur like the mists of forgotten time. Let us explore the echoes of ancient rituals and the whispers of lost civilizations, as we strive to unravel the enigma of El Dorado, the Golden One. Echoes of Gold, the Elusive Dream The legend of El Dorado, a siren's call of wealth and splendor, echoed across oceans and stirred the hearts of European explorers for more than two centuries. Tales of glistening gemstones and rivers flowing with golden coins fueled their imaginations and spurred their relentless pursuits. Among the myriad stories that whispered through the ages, one stands out like a flickering flame in the darkness. It is the tale that escaped the lips of Juan Martinez, a captain of munitions whose fate danced upon the edge of a blade. Sentenced to death for reasons lost to time, Martinez's destiny took an unexpected turn as he fled downstream in a fragile canoe, a lone survivor in the embrace of the unknown. It was amidst this turmoil of fate that Martinez found himself in the hands of the locals, guided by the currents of destiny to the heart of the fabled city. Blindfolded and carried as if by unseen hands, he journeyed for 15 days until the veil was lifted, 
revealing before him a sight that defied the bounds of reason. Manoa, the city of gold, stretched out in all its magnificence before his astonished eyes. This grandeur, this myth incarnate, was also known as El Dorado, a name whispered with reverence and longing across the lands. The maps of the 16th and 17th centuries bore witness to this city's existence, its golden silhouette etched upon the parchment of explorers' dreams. Yet, like the shifting sands of time, El Dorado's truth remained elusive, a mirage that tantalized but slipped through grasping fingers. It was not until the footsteps of Alexander von Humboldt echoed through the jungles, his scientific gaze piercing the veils of myth, that El Dorado's shimmering facade began to crumble. During his monumental expedition between 1799 and 1804, Humboldt sought to unravel the mysteries of the New World. Among his findings, a revelation echoed with the weight of truth El Dorado, the city of boundless wealth, existed only in the realm of myth and imagination. Despite this revelation, the allure of gold, like a fevered dream, continued to haunt the hearts of adventurers. Countless expeditions, fueled by the whispers of hidden treasures and untold riches, ventured into the uncharted depths of South America's interior. Yet, one by one, they returned empty-handed, their dreams of El Dorado fading like echoes in the wind. And so, the legend endures, a testament to the human spirit's unyielding quest for the extraordinary. As we stand on the precipice of history, gazing into the mist-shrouded past, let us remember the echoes of gold that once beckoned the brave and the bold. The legend of El Dorado may have faded into the tapestry of myth, but its legacy, its tantalizing promise of untold riches, continues to stir the hearts of dreamers and adventurers alike. To the Spanish conquistadors, the allure of gold and silver in the hands of the native peoples of the Americas was a tantalizing mystery. It was a treasure they coveted, a symbol of wealth and power that held a different significance to the indigenous inhabitants. The Spaniards, driven by their insatiable thirst for riches, interpreted this perceived lack of value as a sign of abundance, a whisper of untold wealth waiting to be claimed. Thus, began the relentless pursuit of that elusive source, that legendary El Dorado. Over the years, countless expeditions ventured into the uncharted lands of South America, their eyes gleaming with visions of gold-laden cities and rivers flowing with precious metals. Among the daring adventurers was Diego de Ordaz, whose footsteps echoed along the Orinoco River in the years 1531 and 1532. He was among the first to brave the currents of the Orinoco, following its serpentine path beyond the mouth of the Meta River. His quest for gold, fueled by the tales of riches that danced in the air like golden dust, met an abrupt halt at the roaring rapids of Atours. Yet, even in the face of nature's formidable barriers, the flame of discovery burned bright in his heart. It was during Ordas's expedition that whispers of a kingdom veiled in gold reached his eager ears. Tales of a land known as Meta, nestled beyond a mountain on the left bank of the Orinoco River, tantalized his senses. This kingdom, shrouded in the mystique of legend, beckoned with promises of untold treasures waiting to be claimed. The Spanish conquistadors, undeterred by the challenges that lay before them, forged onward in their quest for riches. The stories of Meta and its fabled wealth fueled their determination, igniting a fevered obsession that drove them deeper into the heart of the unknown. Yet, as the years passed and the expeditions multiplied, the elusive nature of El Dorado remained unchanged. The kingdom of Meta, like a shimmering mirage on the horizon, danced just beyond their grasp, teasing with its promise of gold and glory. And so, the quest continues, a testament to the relentless spirit of exploration and ambition. The legacy of El Dorado, woven with threads of myth and reality, lives on in the hearts of those who dare to dream. As we stand on the threshold of history, let us remember the footsteps of Diego de Ordaz and the countless others who ventured into the unknown, driven by the irresistible allure of gold and the pursuit of the extraordinary. The legacy of failed expeditions, the tragic pursuit of El Dorado. Between the years 1538 and 1595, the Spanish governor of Trinidad, 
Antonio de Berrio, embarked on three daring expeditions in search of the legendary El Dorado. Despite his unwavering determination, the first two endeavors ended in failure, the elusive city slipping through his fingers like golden sand. It was during his third expedition that fate took a cruel turn, as his entire forces were captured by the intrepid Walter Raleigh. Raleigh, inspired by the first-hand account of Juan Martinez, who had beheld the splendor of El Dorado in 1570, saw an opportunity where others saw defeat. Believing that the key to unlocking the mystery lay in locating Lake Parim, nestled within the highlands of Guyana, Raleigh took up the mantle of the quest with Berrio as his reluctant guide. Under Raleigh's leadership, his lieutenant Lawrence Kemis meticulously mapped the uncharted terrain, guided by the wisdom of the local tribes. These indigenous peoples, keepers of ancient secrets, shared the intricate routes they traversed by canoe along the winding rivers, leading to a vast body of water where the fabled city of Manoa, El Dorado, was said to rest upon its golden shores. The tantalizing prospect of discovering El Dorado spurred Raleigh onward, driving him deeper into the heart of the untamed wilderness. Yet, despite their fervent efforts and unwavering belief, the city remained as elusive as ever, a phantom that danced just beyond their reach. Raleigh's relentless pursuit of El Dorado did not end with this first expedition. Convinced that the city of gold lay waiting to be discovered, he launched a second endeavor in 1617, determined to unravel the enigma once and for all. However, fate had other plans in store. Tragedy struck with a cruel hand, as Raleigh's second expedition ended in heartbreak and loss. The untimely deaths of his son and his dear friend marked the path with sorrow, casting a shadow over their quest. Upon his return to England, Raleigh was met with betrayal and treachery, leading to his eventual beheading. And so, the legacy of failed expeditions and tragic pursuits endures, a poignant reminder of the human thirst for the extraordinary. The tale of El Dorado, with its shimmering promises and elusive whispers, continues to captivate the imagination of those who dare to dream. As we bid farewell to the echoes of the past, let us remember the intrepid souls who ventured into the unknown, their hearts ablaze with the quest for El Dorado. Though the city of gold may remain hidden, its legacy lives on in the tales of courage and perseverance that echo through the annals of history.